Hi, thank you for watching this video. Today we will talk about how you can extend your Power Virtual Agents with Block Framer Composer. And uh, I am Marina Colomi, it's a Senior Program Manager on Power Virtual Agents team. I uh, will give you this presentation today. So uh, we will talk about what Power Virtual Agents are and how they can be used by both business users and developers. We will talk about the general availability of this great feature of uh, Bot Framework Composer integration with Power Virtual Agents. I will give you a brief demo of all the goodness that this integration brings to the table. And in the end, I will share some resources and references for your use. So what is Power Virtual Agents? Power Virtual Agents is basically a SaaS-based bot building experience that empowers absolutely everyone, citizen devs and pro devs, to create uh, enticing rich bot experiences through no code interface or any other AI experience need. And we have been in GA since December of 2019. Uh, however, very often we see that our users are actually working in teams with developers. And the actual situation in the market is the fusion team, where there are business users and subject matter experts sharing their expertise with developers. And together, our customers are imp implementing rich solutions. To address this need, we have implemented a feature that allows you to extend Power Virtual Agents with Bot Framework. And this feature is in general availability starting today. So what does it mean? It means that inside of your Power Virtual Agents experience, you can click on the button and open a Bot Framework Composer. It is free. It is free, it is in GA, you don't have to pay extra for it. It's simply available right there to your fingertips. Open your Bot Framework Composer, code up with a full power bot framework SDK, use adaptive dialogues, use uh, language generation abilities, adaptive cards, hero cards, everything that bot framework and composer brings to the table, you pretty much can use. And uh, very important, out of Composer, you do not publish whatever you created to an Azure instance. No, you publish it directly to Power Virtual Agents. And everything you just create lives together with the rest of your Power Virtual Agents content and runs together with the rest of your Power, uh, vir Power Virtual Agents content. There is no separate management experience. There is no separate Azure instance to manage. There is no separate Azure bill to pay. You pay a single PVA bill. So what is it that you can actually do with Power Virtual Agents and Composer integration at this time? Well, you can use adaptive dialogues, which are event-driven dynamic dialogues, which basically allow you to traverse the, your dialogue tree in any direction, use interrupts and create event-driven uh, dialogues. You can use language generation abilities, which give you response variants for your bot, rich responses, so your bot does not need to sound scripted or robotic anymore. And you can also use a whole wealth of pre-built functions, which you can access through language generation ability. Adaptive cards, thumbnail cards, hero cards, uh, all the rich UI available in bot framework is now at your fingertips with this integration. And of course, you can connect to external and internal data sources by uh, HTTP invocations. You can use uh, two types NLU, either regex or PVA NLU in uh, Composer for Power Virtual Agents. By default, you will be pointed to use PVA NLU, but if you wish, you can switch to regex as well. And you can access and update Power Virtual Agents variables in Composer. We basically created a new scope for you in Composer called Virtual, uh, virtual Agent. You can call Composer dialogues in PVA and vice versa. You can also call PVA dialogues in Composer. It's basically it's a two-way integration getting more and more seamless. And last but not the least, you can create your own telemetry uh, in both framework um, Composer dialogues by using App Insights. We do support App Insights uh, in this integration. But let's see a short demo of everything that this integration with Bot Framework Composer could actually bring into PVA. So for this demo, I set up a bot uh, for Contoso meal delivery service. This bot can already talk about a few things 
like it can tell you what meals we have, uh, it can tell you what the daily specials are. So let's give it a try. And uh, a lot of, uh, of this bot has been already created uh, through the composer. So let's see what, what's we what we have in this bot. So hello, how can I help you? So what meals do you serve? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, so it's asking me for the city and then it's gonna invoke composer stuff. I am actually in Redmond. Okay, so for Redmond they have three meal options and this adaptive card has been rendered with power in Power Virtual Agent through the Composer integration. So do you have any specials? That's another uh, Composer element. Yeah, they do holidays. Okay, there is a discount for holidays and that, that's great. And I would like to extend this bot uh, with another element, I would like my users to be able to sign up for a free trial for delivery service. And I can do this through Bot Framework Composer. In Bot Framework Composer, I would like to, let's open it, open my bot in Bot Framework Composer first. As you can see, uh, you can see all the elements of the bot right there at your fingertips in Composer itself. And I would like to do the following. I would, I would like to create a new trigger that would respond to my request to start a trial for the service. So I have created a new trigger and I'm going to enter a bunch of trigger phrases there. You don't need to enter that many trigger phrases, but as long as you give enough variation, it's going to work. And these trigger phrases will not be run by Louis. Uh, they will be run directly by PVA NLU. So you don't need to have loose service, you don't have to have loose key to use this feature, and you don't get to pay for loose cogs. As a next step, I would like to create a new, um, a little form that I would require my users to fill out, and that will be an adaptive card with a submit button. So this is my adaptive card. You see how every element, every element of data has its own ID, like name, weeks, and address. And I will use this ID key to actually extract this data after the submit button is clicked by the end user. But let's actually build up a dialog. So here I'm gonna display my adaptive card and I'm gonna do it by directly pointing it here. Yep, that's great, that should do it. Great, and this button has, uh, this adaptive card has a submit button, so I need to figure out the output. And I want to put my output into the user scope. And remember that ID that I set up in the adaptive card? So I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna extract it from turn activity dot value by that ID. This is how you deal with uh, cards with submit button. See, one of them was name with a capital letter, but my card actually had two other pieces of information on it. It had user's address, it also had uh, user's trial period. So I need to get these out of the card as well. And this is how I do it. I'm gonna use uh, set properties element in Composer to add them to the user scope. And how do I reference them uh, in the adaptive card? The same way, I'm gonna use activity scope, turn dot activity and look it up by values. And this particular element of the dialog allows me to set up multiple properties at the same time, so it makes it easier. So we got the address going, we need to extract the sign up period, and that's a number that's very important. So the, the values should match. And again, turn dot activity, dot value and the ID of that field in the adaptive card. Great, so I've done it. 
So uh, additionally, I'm going to have a response in my dialog, basically confirming that uh, we have registered you, dear user. So let's write it up. Username. Thank you for starting the trial with us. And the trial is for X amount of weeks, whatever the user put in. And the last element is should acknowledge that the food will be delivered to a certain address. And I have this address extracted. In the user address variable. Yeah, that's great. Uh, sounds good. Additionally, in this particular dialog, I would like to invoke a Power Virtual Agents topic to take the uh, customer satisfaction survey, basically, which is end of conversation. You see? And yeah, my dialog is done, and let's actually upload it directly to PVA. You see, there is, you're not uploading to any Azure instance, you're uploading it directly to PVA. So it's going to take its own sweet time to publish, and there is a log for you that you can use to see if anything went wrong. Not in this case, everything went just right, so let's check it out. I can already see that my start trial, uh, the element that I created in Composer, is now in Power Virtual Agent with the triggers that I created, and it is represented as a normal Power Virtual Agents topic. So let's give it a try. How does it actually work in Power Virtual Agents? So I want to yeah, start a trial. You, you can phrase it whichever way you want. It's going to understand you. So let's see. My form is supposed to come up, and it did great. Uh, so let's say my name is Jane Doll. Mm -hmm. And my address is one, one Contoso Drive. Redmond. And two weeks. Great, submit. And let's see if my event worked correctly and Power Virtual Agents understands all the values extracted. And it did, and that is wonderful. And then it went into a Power Virtual Agents topic, which is asking me for user satisfaction survey. How happy am I? I'm pretty happy, it all worked. No, 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 that's all I needed just to sign up for a trial. Excellent. Great, and now we have seen uh, all the richness that Compose integration can bring to Power Virtual Agents. I hope you were impressed with the demo and are ready to try this feature. This feature is now generally available and uh, at your fingertips. There is no sign up. Please open Power Virtual Agents. You will see the button to open the Bot Framework Composer. Open up and start coding. Uh, please check out our PVA blog for all the announcements that we have around this feature and all other uh, amazing features that we are working on. There is a, a full documentation uh, online, which actually includes uh, all the sample code for the demo that just, I just walked you through. So please use that. That is really easy to jumpstart yourself uh, for this feature. I have collected uh, a whole set of links, which I think could be helpful to you on your journey. Um, please check out the Adaptive Card Designer, where you can go in and uh, design your adaptive cards. All the adaptive cards that you've seen in the demo were designed by me using this designer. Please give it a try. It's really a guided UI experience. Um, there is a link on Adaptive Dialogues Language Generation Technologies. Uh, there is a lot of belts in there. Please check it out. See if they can be of use for you. You can you can create amazing things in there. And last but not the least, please visit us at PVA Community site and provide your feedback. I hope you enjoyed the session, and I look forward to seeing your comments on our community site.